Hi, and welcome to this program. I'd like to talk today about a really important topic, which I call ending the war within. Now, I might look like one person sitting here in my office, but actually, I am many people. I am the scientist. I am the writer. I am the husband. I am the father. I am the manager. I am the skeptic. I am the believer. There are many, many, many parts to me, just like there are many, many parts to you. And you might realize that sometimes one part of you is dominant, other times another part of you is dominant. Now, how this is important to your weight loss journey is this. Usually, the model we use with weight loss and any kind of personal growth is that one part of ourselves, one of those parts of self, recognizes something is wrong and needs to change. It then goes about trying to change other parts of itself to produce the desired result. The great 20th century psychologist Fritz Perls called this the top dog, underdog model. So top dog is saying things like, you should lose weight. Top dog is the voice of authority. Top dog is the boss. Top dog is the alpha male or female at the head of the herd. Top dog is calling the shots. You should lose weight. So why don't we lose weight? Because we know we should lose weight. We know how to lose weight. And we don't lose weight. That's because there is another part of us that is active, which Fritz Perls called underdog. Now, underdog always agrees with top dog. So top dog says, you should lose weight. Underdog like rolls over on its back, exposes its belly and says, oh, you're so right, top dog. I really should lose weight. And top dog's very satisfied now that it's shown it's in control and it's asserted its will. Now, Fritz Perl said that in this struggle in the psyche between top dog and underdog, one dog always wins. One dog always wins. And that dog is underdog. Because the moment top dog's back is turned, underdog runs out and sabotages everything top dog's done and all its agreements. So top dog says, you should not be eating desserts after dinner. Underdog says, oh, you're so right, top dog. I should not be eating those desserts after dinner. Then guess what happens at midnight? Underdog sneaks to the refrigerator and grabs the dessert or the ice cream or the candy bar or the cigarette or the wine or the vodka or whatever it is that underdog is using to assert its right to be part of the psyche. That is why so many diets don't work. That's why so many personal growth programs don't work. And we know this. We know this going into week one. That's why this video is in week one. Because we are going to do that. We are not going to do that for the next few weeks. We are not going to get into those top dog dynamics. We are not going to do anything you've done before in a weight loss program. In fact, we're going to sabotage the top dog underdog dynamic from week one deliberately. And we'll do it like this. We'll do some tapping to release that conflict within. Because what's happening is that when you have one part of the psyche trying to dominate another part of the psyche, maybe it does temporarily through willpower, through force of personality, through moral argument. But because one part of the psyche is being suppressed, the suppressed part is driven into the shadow and finds some way of reasserting itself later on and sabotaging the whole process. So as part of week one, we're going to undercut that whole dynamic. Now what happens when you do that is that all the energy that's locked in this conflict between top dog and underdog is liberated. The great 20th century therapist Carl Rogers, who developed client-centered therapy, said the paradox of personal change is that it begins 
it begins with acceptance. Change and a radical shift in who you are, or your weight, or your money, or your relationships, or any part of your life, change, that big change you want to see, doesn't begin by trying to make it happen. Change begins by accepting yourself just the way you are. So we'll do some tapping on this. Make sure you've looked at the EFT introductory video if you don't know the tapping points and at least know the basics of tapping before we begin. And I'll go ahead and walk you through a couple of tapping routines and show you how this can really affect your ability to make progress by accepting all of those parts of yourself and ending that war within. I remember I got back from a psychology conference where I'd been presenting many years ago before I learned EFT, and I knew about Top Dog Underdog, didn't know about tapping back then, and I had my own particular little Top Dog Underdog struggle going on, which is that I used to smoke these little brown cigars, little inoffensive cigars, and I'd buy them at the corner market, and I'd take them home, and usually I'd have one, maybe two a night. And I usually had them after dinner with a glass of wine on the front porch. So it was a little ritual I had. I'd go outside, have a glass of wine, have a cigar. Felt great. But the next morning, I woke up, my throat would feel all scratchy and itchy. And I could feel that these cigars were not good for my health. So I knew they weren't good for me. And for years, I did top dog number. Top dog, you shouldn't smoke cigars. And a dog, you're right, top dog, I shouldn't smoke those cigars. I'll never do it again. Guess what, dog always won. <laughs> underdog would run out there and grab the cigar. So I've been trying Top Dog Underdog for so many years. And after I'd given a lecture at one psychology conference, I said, you know, I'm not going to perpetuate this dynamic in my own psyche. So what I did was I'd wake up every morning, my throat would feel scratchy, I'd realized it was because of the cigars the night before. And rather than doing a top dog number saying, you're damaging your health, you shouldn't be smoking those cigars, I would instead say, my throat feels scratchy, and I love myself. That was a fantastic cigar. I enjoyed that glass of wine, that cigar so much last night. So I'd own the experience, and I'd love that part of myself, rather than trying to do a top dog underdog number on that part of myself. Now, what happened next was incredibly interesting. One morning I woke up and my throat did not feel scratchy. I thought, hmm, my throat feels great, doesn't feel scratchy at all. I realized I didn't have a cigar last night. Wow, I just kind of forgot to have a cigar last night. You know, I don't think I had a cigar the night before that either. Or the night before that. I had quit smoking those cigars completely without even realizing it. Eventually I found a package of the cigars stuck away in a closet where the receipt, and the receipt showed that I bought those cigars five months before. So I had quit smoking those cigars spontaneously when I ended the war within. No top dog, underdog, willpower, or persuasion required. I naturally quit the cigars, and I quit them without even realizing it was five months before I realized, you know, I just, uh, I'm not drawn to that thing anymore. Same thing with food. I went to a party the other day, and everyone was making a delicious, eating a delicious cake that someone had bought. It was a, actually a raspberry pie. It was being carved up into sections. It was a homemade pie. It looked so good, smelled so good. So I ate some of the pie. I just took a fork, broke a little piece of pie, put it in my mouth, savored it, tasted great, and that was it. I just didn't have any compulsion or any real interest in eating the whole pie. I'd got the experience of the pie without needing to eat the whole slice or two slices or three slices. And my waistline was really happy because I'd lost a couple of pounds the next day. So. Um, this is my goal for you, is to help you end that struggle. We are not going to perpetuate 
that struggle in the next six weeks or however long this course takes you. We're going to let you off the hook. We want you to be in your joy. We want you to love and accept all the parts of yourself. Trying to stuff them, trying to suppress them doesn't work and they wind up sabotaging your best intentions. So we're going to end the war within. We're going to let top dog and underdog go there. Their ways both coexist peacefully and do some tapping to reduce that energy tension that holds these conflicts in your life in place. So I'd like you to first of all tune into your inner top dog. That part of you that's dominating, that part of you that wants to be in control, make things a certain way, and now tune into that rebellious, underhand, cunning, whatever it is, underdog as well. Feel those two parts of yourself and feel the tension in your body. I actually felt in my own body when I said that I felt this like shiver ran down my side. I could feel that tension even in me after doing all this work. So feel that feeling in your body, that tension between the part of you that says, you should do this, and the part of you that says, oh, you're right, I should do that, but then may sabotage your best intentions. Feel that tension in your body. Now let's do some tapping on accepting all of our parts. Start with the karate chop point. Say out loud, all these parts are part of me, and I accept them all. I accept all the parts of myself, the ones that are lovable and the ones that are unlovable. I accept them all. I accept every single part of me because they are all parts of me. I accept all the parts of myself. Tap over here, say out loud, I accept all the parts of me. Side of the eye, I accept all the parts of me. And your eye, even the parts that are unacceptable. And your nose, even the parts I wish were not there. Chin, even the parts I don't really love. Collarbone point, I accept them all. I accept all the parts of me, lovable and unlovable. I accept them all. Karate chop point. The struggle within me has been going on a long time. It's tiring. It's exhausting. And I don't need that struggle anymore. I've tried losing weight by dominating parts of myself. I've tried losing weight by being hard on myself. And for the next few weeks, I'm not playing that game. I'm loving myself. I'm accepting myself. And I'm ending the war within. Right now, I love and accept all the parts of me, even the unacceptable ones. Eyebrow point. I accept all my parts. All these parts of me. They are all part of me. Whether I like them or not. And since this is the hand I have been dealt, these are the parts I have. I accept them just the way they are. Collarbone point. I accept myself just the way I am. Karate chop point. I accept all the parts of me. Take a nice deep breath. Doesn't it feel good to let go of that struggle, that feeling of struggle? 
you probably feel quite different in your body right now. Now let's do one last exercise before we wrap up this first part of the program, and that is focusing on a part of our body we don't like. In fact, let's focus on the part of our body we like the least. I know when I was beginning my weight loss journey, I'd walk into the bathroom every morning, I'd look in the mirror, and my big tummy, I'd say, oh, I look terrible. I hate that stomach. I want that to go away. Not a very positive message to your body. So find whether it's your stomach, whether it's your arms, whether it's your butt, whether it's your thighs. Focus on the part of your body that you like the least right now. Now, feel all the feelings you feel. Maybe self-loathing, maybe disgust, maybe anger. When you look at or feel into that part of your body. But do it right now. So pick the part of your body you like least. Really focus <clears throat> on that part of your body. Really focus on that part of your body. And now do some tapping. Say out loud with me, even though I hate that part of my body, even though I do not accept that part of my body, I am still me, I am still okay, I am still a good person. I have trouble accepting that part of my body. I really don't like that part of my body. It's still part of me. I accept all of me, the parts that I like, and the parts that I don't like. The parts I like, the parts I don't like. I accept all of me, the parts I like, and the parts I don't like. They're all part of my body. They're all part of me. I love and accept my body just the way it is. I could never love and accept my body the way it is. I can only accept it after it changes. I can only accept myself after I lose weight. After I lose the weight, then I will accept myself. I will accept myself right now, regardless of whether I lose the weight, no, I won't. I won't accept myself until I lose the weight. Lose the weight or not lose the weight, I accept myself. I can never accept myself until I lose this weight. I accept myself now at any weight. I am a child of the universe at any weight. I am loved and nourished by a higher power at any weight. I am a child of the universe, loved by the universe, here on earth for a purpose, at this weight I am right now. <clears throat> at the weight I am right now, I am perfect. I am a child of the universe. The weight I am right now, I might lose weight, I might gain weight, I might lose lots of weight. I love and accept myself, whatever happens. Whatever the journey holds in the next few weeks, I love and accept myself at whatever weight I happen to be. Can you try point one more time? I love and accept myself at whatever weight I happen to be. I love and accept this part of my body, 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 all parts of my body, including this one, including this one, all parts of my body, love and acceptance, fully and completely, at this weight 
at any weight. Okay, take a deep breath. Didn't that feel good? Go ahead and tap on this every day, on loving yourself and accepting yourself. You'll be amazed at how you naturally start to shift once you end the war within. Thank you.